I'm Lawson and just welcome back to Good Morning Law Land on Hashtag Wealth Wednesday. We're talking the two ways home. Tom and Tanya, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having us. So tell us a little bit about the premise of this award-winning yeah. film, Two Ways Home. Um, two Ways Home was is a, a film about mental, it's loosely based on a, a an underlying mental health theme, a theme about a woman with bipolar two disorder. Um, and Tom plays uh, my grandfather in the film who is also suffering from PTSD from being a vet. Um, I really wanted to create a feature in which women um, left the movie feeling empowered about themselves. And, um, you know, there's not a lot of films out there right now uh, that that people can walk away from feeling good about themselves who have dealt with mental health, um, that accurately portray mental health, that feel like they maybe have taken the shame out of the condition of having mental health disorders when there's 56 million Americans who are plagued with a mental health disorder and not enough funding. Um, and so fortunately with this film, um, we've been given, been endorsed by National Alliance for the Mentally Ill. We just got back from the Dallas Film Festival where we won a Women's Empowerment Award. Um, oh, yes. Awesome. Thank Thank you, the Women Texas Film Festival, um, and we have other film festivals uh, unrolling, and uh, we're really proud of our work. Oh, message. absolutely! Let's take a look at the trailer for Two Ways Home. No, Kathy, we're releasing you at the end of the month. I know that you wanted the extra time, but we are positive that you are ready. I just feel like they're going to see me as who I was then. Of course they are. And now they're going to see who you are now. After all these years, you think you're just going to swoop in here and fix all our problems? You're not in charge of me, Kathy. You were a ward of the state. Well, I'm still your mom. You're trying too hard. Where's our daughter? Kathy's drunk again. You're way bigger than anyone thought. This is still going on. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't cuddle up next to you and say, honey, I'm bipolar. Just love this. Um, you know, mental illness, mental health, and particularly bipolar depression is a very is an issue very close to my heart. And I know since like 1950, we have 10 times the bipolar depression. Yeah. That we, you know, and so I just wonder for each of you, you know, why is this such an important topic? You know, making the film, I wasn't thinking about any of the causes. We were making a movie about real people, and shooting it where the real people were from. You know, where mm -hmm. Tana is from, and. Um, all of these other causes come out, the audience teaches you what your film is about. Mm -hmm. You can watch a film a hundred times with different audiences and find out more about what the cause is. But of course we know about returning vets that are homeless, jobless, and without uh, medical care or mental uh, guidance, you know. And then it gets tossed over to the abuse of their loved ones so it just has a domino effect. I was gonna say thank you so much for including the veteran aspect of it in there because all, a lot of these people are suffering from PTSD mm -hmm. and it's just really a shameful thing that are, we're, we're not doing enough. So thank you so much for bringing awareness um, to the veteran community with your film. It looks beautiful. And thank Zulai's you a vet. So much. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I am a vet, too. Oh, oh from are you? Oh, really? Yeah. Thank That's you. Great. Thank That's you so great. much. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What are you guys most excited about with this movie and the festivals that we have coming? Today, the method of uh, distribution for specialty films like ours are film festivals. And as you go around, you get a you, you get a nest of people that want to carry you to the next place. Yeah. And also, I think um, just the amount of dialogue, of um, inspiration that the film I've seen create in other people, and other women, and other people who come out and say, "Oh, I've had that experience. I've had yeah. that experience with my mom. Oh, that was me. Oh, that was you know." And and creating, I think, as a filmmaker, anything that can uh, um, create create dialogue that can create healing, that can promote something that is taboo in society, something that there is a stigma attached to, and um, and and bring about change um, at any level, you know, whether it's minuscule or it's a, a grand, you know, a grander scheme uh, of change is, is so beautiful and, and such a gift. So I'm just 
pleased that it's the film's working. Yeah. Is it's it hard to shoot a film like? I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no. Go ahead. Is, it, is it hard to shoot a film like the? You know, I had a very short-lived acting career, and part of the reason I didn't continue it was because I would audition for something or I'd do something, and I would be kind of locked into that character. Mm -hmm. So if I had to play somebody, to, I just couldn't get out of it. I wasn't mentally strong enough. Is it hard? creating a film like this? Or are you able to put on your creative thinking hat and just it say It started that? when I was uh, nine years old. I'd go to a movie and I would be that character until I saw the next film, yeah. you know, in my make-believe world. Yeah. Um, I needed to escape being a battered child, not physically so much as mentally, emotionally. And that was my escape. But you say, you're not an actor anymore. Well, I quit for about 15 years. I was in the corporate world. Yeah. And I learned more about life so that when Probably I came back Probably more about acting act as well in the corporate life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I became yeah. a private investigator, and that was all about acting. So then it was easy enough to fall back into the thing I always wanted to do. Oh. And I think with something like this, too, um, there was such a heart behind it. I made this film in Iowa. I moved out here in 99. And there was such a heart. There was such a beautiful... Uh, filming in Iowa, having my parents help. You know, when you're trying to do in-kind favors, having my mom set dress, oh my... <laughs> it was a complicated thing, but, you know, everybody yeah. was behind it, and we weren't just thinking about the cause and creating... Because that's a problem with creating a cause film. It's like, how do we hit, not hit people over the head so that they're like, no, I don't want to listen to that, but just just kind of interweave it and make it an underlying factor. But in the end, it's about real people with real stories. It's not about a, a car chase or it's not about, you know, um, about guns. It's about these this simple intergenerational story in Iowa of people who are dealing with, you know, their baggage. And so it was just a beautiful experience. And, you know, you just people have stories like this that need to be told. And that drives it besides, you know, being a producer of it besides being, you know, instead of being turned down all the time, but other people is saying, hey, I'm going to make this film. I'm going to see it through to its inception because it can help people. Sometimes that, you know, that drives you as a human being. Well, yeah, you're exposing a part of humanity that we're so scared to really take a look at yeah. closely. Yeah. So to me, I think that's, and when you ha when you make a film that sparks conversation at a deeper level, I can't wait to see the film because now, now I, you. yeah, I really want to see it. And it, sp it sparks a conversation that sparks healing. That then you did your job, and I can tell just looking at you, you put your life. Oh my goodness, into totally. This. Uh, yeah. You feel the passion. Yeah, I really yes. thank yeah. you. I'm like, I'm yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you did it thank beautifully. You. Please tell everyone where they can find and follow the film's journey. Um, you can go on Two Ways Home, the movie. There is a band, so it's not the band. Maybe <laughs> we'll start a band. Um, and yeah. I, I do want to say a thanks to director uh, Ron Vignoni as well, who's a brilliant director. And thank you to you guys so much yeah, thank you. for having such a beautiful show this morning. What an enlightening and beautiful show, speaking of mental health. And um, thank, thank you. you so much for having yeah. Tom and I. And please check out uh, Two Ways Home. We, I surely will. Absolutely. Sure. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.